Hi guys, it's Luna Eva. I don't know how to edit, so that is my entrance. But today I'm going to be giving you a list of my ideal things to put on your altar. Um, I just filmed this video, um, but then my camera decided to completely close off. And so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> it's probably, it's not, it's, it's still going to be original, don't worry. But um, we're still going to enjoy it. It's just a little bit annoying, so. Let's, let's, let's start. If you're wondering why I have a mirror in my hand, we'll get to that bit. First of all, we're going to talk about nature walks. Nature walks are my most favourite thing to do when I'm looking for um, altar tools, anything really. Like I like making things with sticks and, yes, feathers. So feathers are the things that are ideal for your altar. This is a magpie, a probably a pigeon, I don't really know, and then a parakeet feather. I use these to uh, a representation of air because I have a mainly element based altar as well as like goddess and god, but um, I could do an altar tour if you guys like that. But um, these I for element of air and then also to like waft incense and smoke around yourself and get in the mood, you know. So that's what I use and they're completely free. Found them in the woods. Ideal. Second thing is other things. So I've got a pine cone and a shell. Um, you could use a shell to like snuff out smudge sticks. You could also put a little rune in there, a uh, representation for water. I use this as represent uh, representation for earth because I just find it as like, you know, it just came like straight off a tree. You know, so it's just perfect. And um, also I found this good representation of the god just because it's very masculine to me I don't know why I just see a man in this um, you could also make a get a smaller shell put a little like protection rune in there and then make it into a little talisman or necklace um, that's a good way to hide because now I'm gonna see the inside so those are completely free I found those on another nature walk obviously not together but multiple times. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is a little goblet or chalice. This may seem like a bit expensive, you're thinking. I've s either I've seen a, um, a lot of chalices out there. They can be a bit on the pricey side. Well, my friend, I got this in a charity shop for one pound. Yes, you're hearing correctly, one pound. It was in a group of four, but then I was like, can I just have one? <laughs> and so they let me have one for one pound. And um, this is what I got. You could put some moon water in there, make it, or put it on your goddess side, put some moon water in there, whatever you want, you can drink from it, put your little potions in there. Um, moon water is another great thing for your altar, starting out, because it is completely free. This one, unless you have to like pay for water, I guess. But you, I, I like to collect rainwater, so this is just my regular moon water, but I made another one which is full moon storm water all made and collected on the same night which I thought was brilliant um, it was a big big storm with like lightning and the middle so I thought I'm gonna get collecting um, but this one is just regular one obviously I did have crystals in there but I took them out just for my altar um, and I decorated it with a bit of string and put a little little tag on there and uh, Bob's your auntie moon water uh, next thing we have is herbs. Um, you can use whatever herbs you like. Um, you can grow them, pick them, do whatever you want. Mash them up and drink them. I swear that rhymed, anyway. <laughs> um, I have oregano and cloves. These are my go-to herbs. I love these ones so much. Um, they really just work for me. So if you wanna test these out, if they don't, you know, find your next one. But uh, if they do, Great, we may get along. <laughs> uh, next thing is a little mirror. Now I use this for my glamour spells because obviously I need them. But um, can you see yourself? I don't know if you can, but uh, this is a little handheld one. Just to do a little, I wish I had a smaller nose, <laughs> you know. That wasn't a mockery of glamour spells, I'm sorry about that. But um, you know, just do what you want to do with a mirror. And like scrying, but I prefer to do scrying in like, black blackness like on my phone screen I'm like scrying but 
you know, modern day witch, am I right? <laughs> um, handheld mirror, this I got from my mum. I don't know how much this was, so I found it and I was like, I need that. Pro you can probably get one of these in a charity shop for fairly cheap, so. Uh, next thing I made this, it is a rosemary and sage smudge stick. I found the shit sage and I already was growing some rosemary. So I dried them, let them hang for a couple of days and then tied them up and now I use this. It's very tiny and it sometimes falls apart because I should have used more string but you know, learn from your mistakes. And that was also free. Crystals. Crystals. Everyone knows about crystals. They are just beautiful things. So here are my favourite and also like the most basic ones to me. So obviously I have a clear quartz crystal, uh, amethyst and a rose quartz. They're all in different like states, I know that, but um, these are my, what, like start off with clear quartz, I think if you just want one, but then this is what I'd go for. Well, I mean, just buy what you're attracted to, if you know what I mean, but this is what I'm attracted to. So this is what I would suggest to you guys. Um, these were one pound each, I know, um, from a local market. Um, it's just crystals, it's just crystals. Um, this is a pentacle that I made myself. I got the sticks from my local forest and uh, tied it up with a bit of string that I found in my cupboard. And um, I know it's not very symmetrical, but it does the trick. So um, <laughs> pentacles are great for protection. Um, anything like just symbol on, I like basically, I have a mirror just above my altar. You may have seen that in another video because you can like see me, but um, it always gets dusty and I can't bother to clean it. So I just draw a pent pentacle, pe no, a pentagram in the dust and like no one can see it apart from me in like a certain light. I'm just looking at it now. And I just think that's such a great, so like in dust on the mirror, just draw it in, no one will know. And also sigils, they work as well. So. A, pent a pentacle and obviously candles. I just have a pillar one here. This isn't really a pillar. I like the pillar ones like the fat ones but this was like a thin pillar. Um, this I got from Tiger and as well as this, this is some rose petals. Um, this jar was two for one pound. They had lots of different colours at the top but I chose to go with black because it just goes with everything. Um, and this was a pack of 10 for three pounds from Tiger. They, this, these are really good. These, these petals as well, I, I collected from one of my mum's bunches and they do not smell good at the moment. So I'm probably gonna have to get rid of those, and get some better quality ones in there. But um, these are a really good representation of uh, the goddess or feminine side because just to me, they just, look very feminine. They may do to you as well. I know roses are very feminine, so. Candles and another jar. <laughs> what else have I got? I don't, I think that is it, my friends. Oh, no, one last, no, two last things. So I have incense here. There are just a very small ones, but there's just a few left in there. Um, this I got from Poundland uh, and there were 20 there were two packs, there were 20 in there with about four or five candles and an incense burner, all for one pound in a packet. So if you live in England, go to Poundland and get your Poundland, <laughs> Poundland and get your incense and candles and just in a little packet. And they've also got like, this is vanilla, but they have mango, which I also have, and fresh cotton, I think, so. And then my last thing on my list is a tiny weeny angel. This I actually got for my first Holy Communion, which if you're witches you may not know about if you're um, hereditary or you're not Christian, or you weren't Christian, um, but I'm not Christian anymore, don't, shh, don't tell anyone. But um, this is just a little angel, which I can see as like a little fairy angel. Um, I've always connected with guardian angels, um, so this is a little representation of my guardian angel. Right, I'm gonna say bye now, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye! My sister, no, I'm not saying goodbye to you. Bye!